actions have different gamma wave fronts. So the little step of trying to compute the sort of gamma wave fronts that are actually absent to be positive, which is why there's you know, control when we talk about the airport is different this time around. And we've got I've had to take the drain pipe back up. Look at the state of these. Nightmare. This is where the shower tray is going to go. Bit of a nightmare at the moment though. Would you like the half bath <laughs> to shower in? There's the first sunken floorboard gone in. Out of thick ply. It's coming along. And that's how I do the bit for the tray to go on. All cleaned out as well. All the pipes on the top are just temporary as we still have to use this horrible bathroom with a silly little bath and our sink and our toilet. But wait till you see it at the end. There you go, that's the floor ready for the shower tray minus the yellow pipe of course floor for the shower tray done and there's the drain hole and pipes for the concealed shower controls bathroom's coming along I'm about to move the sink around like that because there was no room to do the uh, stud work over here there's the the shower floor and the hole covered up still got a mini bath in here bearing in mind we're having to use the bathroom it makes it very awkward as you can see the plumbing's in now most of it just the controls that go in the shower head up there and another one there and the stud work so far Needs to sink the wrong way round. And the toilet. I'll move them as I go along. And of course our famous mini bath. As you can see it's coming along. Got some cement boards down. See the different levels in floors. I've got to sort that out. That's where the shower tray is going to go. Still using the mini bath. And I think to clean it out with. <laughs> That's the old shower. And the new shower corner. Got to grow controls in. And over there is the lowest shower and the upper one the ceiling's done I was going to say oh yeah the, the green hose pipes are just to test if the uh, my plumbing's leaking which is not as you can tell we're still using this bathroom so it makes it very difficult I have to use keep the shower in here and keep this tempy sink in the middle there and keep moving it oh yeah we've now got the uh, new sink frame in, in fitted in there and the concealed cistern plumbed in the soil stack down there still got that tempy pipe across the floor that'll go though and that's the old toilet so it's quite a confined space. That's where uh, a vanity unit's going. I think that's what you call them. But anyway, a double mirror. And down there would be somewhere to put your toothbrush and whatever. 
they all come together but you can see there's a lot of work going on here and it's hard to know which way to do it but most of plumbing's in I continue with the floor today but at some point I'm gonna have to take that out then we've got a problem but if I can do the shower first I will that's it Well, that's the cement boards done. Just wanted you to see how well they're going down. I'm just ready for the tiles. They sorted out that wooden floor, laid on adhesive. And there's the tile backer boards going in. Looking good too. Just gotta love all these modern things. Soon get rid of these hose pipes and all this other rubbish that's in here. But we have to go somewhere. That's the tile tray fitted. Went in like a glove on a bed of tile adhesive. And there's the uh, grow controls. Coming along. That's the floor completely watertight. The cement boards had scrim and tile adhesive on the joints. Around the shower trays, got waterproof expanding SDS foam so that'll never leak or move. And around the cement board, around the edge, that horrible brown acrylic well, it's not acrylic, silicon is an expansion joint that's uh, well. That's it. I've ripped out the sink temporarily. There's the base of the shower tray. It's all been tanked. Waterproof, in other words. It's got its membrane in it. And, uh, well, as you can see, nothing's going through there. It's solid. I'll do the top half as soon as I've sorted out the floor tile levels because I want to make recesses in there. I want them in the exact place. But it's coming along. Got to do that bit today. Most of the floor tiles laid, except for under the old bath. Made that mess and that mess, put them in, lowered that down, put that in, and put them in, and that one to hold the shower thing up. Coming along, gonna stop for lunch, dinner. I mean, a bit more boarding done. going to prime it now and then um, put the membrane on the joints then paint it with the waterproof paint nothing is getting out of this shower that's me quick look at the mosaic tiles we're using there you are Laying them out first. That's the shower area done. Just to uh, grout it when that's dry. Bit more done. The wall boarding's going up. Now you can start to see it taking shape. That, that my alcove's done. Obviously you want grouting. And the new toilet roughly plumbed in. The sinks go in there. Some more tiling done. Try and do that bit today. A little bit more done.
the bathrooms coming on now. Well, that's grouted. Done that bit. It's the shower tray. I've still yet to polish all the grout off. Got to do that. Cupboards sort of fitted. Bearing in mind the sill working around that because we have to keep using the place but when I do a small bathroom you can see it's coming on there's half the bathroom done and we're already using it And there's the other half to come out. The bathroom of two halves now. Well, the bathroom's coming on. I've shifted that half a bath and the shower, the old shower. Been cracking on since the last bit of video. Done the floor down there, just boarded that out. We're obviously having to still use the place, so this is half done. Oh, that's the shower. And that, and you can put it up there. That's the floor with some tools in. That's the other side of the glass screen. There's a built-in shower cabinet that you just push and it opens. It's a sink, toilet. Obviously not done that wall yet. Just put in a door. And gotta shift those two pipes and tile that wall. That floor. But I'm happy with it. It's definitely bigger, even though it's smaller. That's the rest, all tanked out and waterproof. Now to finish the tiling. The two walls to go now, finish that bit off and the floor. I don't know if I showed the door, but anyway, there's the door. There's a wall of waterproof that. That's that wall finished then. Obviously, I'll put a door in. Just one wall to go. get rid of these horrible brown tiles and that stinky brown blind but look from that to that to that it's coming on Look at these, you need this many parts just to hold the towel radiator to the wall, which is going to connect to those two. And now for the last wall. I cannot wait till I finish this. Oh yeah, he's chucking it down with rain outside. That's the brackets fitted. What a pain they was. And there you go. That's the radiator on. Very nice, I must say myself. Well, the renovation of our bathroom is complete. F finished from that tiny little horrible bathroom. 
to our lovely brand new shiny wet room take a look folks just love it now new ceiling new walls places to store stuff rain shower the other shower which can go on there sunken shower tray lovely comb fittings sink toilet you name it the works but i'm just trying to show you what you can do with a small bathroom and that covered sunk in the wall and that ones as well spotlights extract the light this takes a bit of time glass panel just hard to film in here. I'm filming for the glass panel now. There you go. And of course, a lot of tiling. Hope you like it as much as we do. That's it. Thanks for watching. And closing in our bathroom, the end.